So hey y'all, hey, hey friend, hey girl, I'm back on your screen. Look, listen y'all, this morning I am up getting ready to take Bubba over to his doctor's appointment today. It's been a while since he's seen the doctor for like a year or two after his last chemo treatment. I had to take him to the doctor every two months to make sure that, you know, the cancer didn't come back or whatever. And then we graduated to four, six, eight, and then to a year. So today we're going back. Guess they're going to do some tests, do the same thing all over again. And I think they're going to discuss him having his surgery to get his port removed. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm hoping. You know, I'm just ready to get this just all over with so we can just go on and move on with life i got princess up she's gonna go princess has been with her brother since day one you yeah you can put that on on the bed yeah it shouldn't be too bad okay so i'm about to get myself together real quick get on up out of here kendrick just got out the shower He's getting himself together. We don't have that much time because I spend most of my time editing the video to go out today. Today is also KK's birthday. My little baby boy is 19 today. Hey. He's supposed to be going laser tag and some. So when I get back from, you know, dealing with Kendrick, I'm going to take K. Andre to get his hair cut and he's going to go on, on about his day. So yeah, that's what we got going on today. Not too much of nothing once again. So I'm gonna sit down at my little messy beauty desk and try to get myself together. I'm gonna put on some little lashes. It's a uh, real quick and uh, I don't know. I just wanna put on some lashes. I ain't had none on that since forever. Since I've been back to work and working hard and stuff. Yeah, I've been working hard. I'm talking about like I had 159 hours on my last check. Like, I ain't come to play with them. Shoot. Because, girl, I got stuff to do, honey. So, what I'm going to do today? I'm going to put on a little foundation. Do I? Yeah, hide these little imperfections. It ain't too bad. But... Mama, can you turn this light on, too? Your phone got charge on it? Charge it up. So, anyway, y'all, before I put my foundation on, say hey to the princess. Hey, kids. Hey. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, this light? Yeah, turn it on. Thank you, my love. You mm -hmm. I'm going to sharpen this eyebrow pencil up. I need a new one because it's about to be gone. Do me some eyebrows real quick. Like, shade them in a little bit. And we're going to call it today because I got to go like that. That's good enough. I'm going to put on a little bit of foundation to hide some of my imperfections. I probably don't really need it, but mm -mm. this low foundation, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit on. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on real quick. Oh, we also see the surgeon today. Um, when Kendrick goes to see oncology, they make his appointment where he can see Dr. Greenberg, which is his surgeon, and Hughie, which is oncology at the same time. They are in cahoots with each other and so yeah he always get a lot of tests done first then he goes and see greenberg and then dr hugie that's how it usually goes i ain't got time to be playing with this wig either i don't know why today ain't working with my foundation bro maybe because i'm rushing i'm rushing but you can tell i got it on now y'all see the difference <laughs> i'm gonna put some down here had that little spot over there Put a little bit on my little chin. And yeah, I think I got it. That quick. So I got my lashes on. I'm trying to comb my hair out. I'm going to let the lashes dry. And I go back and fix those up. Comb this hair out real quick. And wet it. And I got to go. Like, literally, I got to go. Like, I got to get out of here, y'all. I didn't even say happy birthday to KK. All I said was to him, did you stay up all night? <laughs> I didn't even say happy birthday to my baby. Princess! Now I'm gonna wet this down real quick. See, I got so much product on here, I don't even need none. It's just wet it, and it's gonna be all good. So 
So this is what I'm gonna do for this, and that's it. Put on some perfume today, yeah. So okay, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all the outfit of the other day. Yep, your girl didn't gain a little weight. So this is my outfit of the day. I got on this white shirt. I got on these jeans that y'all seen before that I was gonna try to wear right before the weather was changing, but I didn't get a chance to wear them. These are from Fashion Nova. And I got on my little fair babies, y'all. Y'all see, look at it, gaining weight. And this is Princess in her outfit, pink and white. And her little cute flip flops, baby. This is the outfit of the day. <laughs> and I didn't waste stuff all on my shirt. KK! Come here, son! I gotta say happy birthday to my son, yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta go! Why y'all gotta tell me her you come? Come on, I gotta go. Your brother needs to go to the doctor. You fresh and you're ready. I'm gonna pull your pants up a little bit. Wait, can't he come in too? No, I mean we're gonna come back and get him, take him to the barber shop. Yeah. Bubby, you ready? Hi, Jada. Hold on. KK. Not a lot. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since you taking all day, then you find somebody else to get your hair cut. How about that? I'm gonna take all day giving you my money too. So we in the court, y'all. We headed to the hospital. So um, yeah, we're gonna take this drive and I'll see y'all when I turn this camera back on. Y'all see KK then never come, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, I done broke my camera. I'm trying to figure out where you going. No, you ain't going to get your hair cut because I called you and it took you 30 years to get up here. And you weren't supposed to go get your hair cut until I get back. I was calling you up here to give you a hug and to say happy birthday. I told you last night, I gave all you all instructions on last night how this morning is going to, was going to go. Happy birthday. I love you. Come and give me a hug. Get on my nerves. Yeah, tell them, Bubba. <laughs> KK! What is wrong with him? Am I going to get a hug or what? That's terrible. Mm. Thank Happy you, birthday, Pookie. You gonna dip on me too? Yep, we all about to leave you. We ain't coming back either. So anyway. <laughs> Finally got that hood. We have made it to the hospital. And I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I gotta use the bathroom so bad. And I let Kendra out at the doors. You know, cause she old enough to do that now. So y'all gonna go ahead and check in cause they do dumb stuff to take you through loops to get inside this hospital. So I'll see y'all once we get on the inside. So hey y'all, hey. I'm back on y'all screen, girls. So look, listen y'all, I'm sitting up here at quick trip we just left bubba's appointment and y'all they would not see my baby because his insurance expired so i have to try to get him some more insurance in order for them to see my son girl i was devastated like oh my god this is crazy oh y'all this is why i always say i got to try to just do stuff on my own my own affairs it's just like i got to try to take care of this because he really needs to get in to see these doctors girl i got an application so that he can get adult medicaid what happened was 
in my mind i'm thinking he still had the insurance but they saying now he has to get adult insurance or something like that i don't know but the lady at the uh, hospital gave me the paperwork to fill out and stuff like that and uh, i'm just going to go back home and work on that um take care of keandre real quick take him to get his hair cut and i really don't even know what else i'm gonna do i took off for nothing it's like 11 o'clock i should just go to work and try to get some money i'm really disappointed right now uh, so but anyway <sighs> i stopped off at pick trip to try to get me something to drink get princess something to drink and uh yeah i ain't really talking about nothing y'all i just wanted to check back in so i'll just see y'all when i turn this camera back on hey. So hey y'all, hey, we done made it back to the house. Then bought Bubba back and Princess is taking a nap. So now I'm on my way over to take KK to get his hair cut. And check on Princess before I leave. See the princess is taking a nap. So while she's taking a nap, I'm gonna go ahead and take KK over to get his hair cut. But look y'all, listen. I just walked past. I know y'all seen earlier when I did my outfit of the day, but this just makes me smile to walk past and just see something of my grandbabies in here. You get it? it's just they didn't take it back home with them. I just love to see that sitting there like. <laughs> KK! KK! I'm ready. Buck! I'm gonna take you to the barbershop. That's what you wearing? Ooh, boy, did you calm that her out? Ooh. That look a hot old mess. You should have calmed that her. I need a napkin. What's up there? Oh, my, my cup. So, we're on our way to the barbershop. So, I made up to the barbershop. And I'm going to sit here and wait on him. So, but yeah, look, listen, y'all. I ain't been talking about nothing these days, like nothing. All your girl been doing is working. I haven't been doing anything. Anything worked, you know, like turning the camera on and recording. I ain't been doing nothing. It's been work, coming home, bathe, go to bed, get back up, do it again. That's what my life has been. And um, it's gonna be like that for the next four weeks because I'm trying to get to a place where I I'm comfortable, get everything taken care of. You know, like right now, everything is paid, all the bills is paid. So now I'm working hard now, next pay period, I'm gonna be okay and then I wanna do it again. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wanna have to say, I gotta wait till the next check to pay X, Y, and Z. And like that because you know, like I said, I didn't really have to do that with the other job. So I'm just trying to get to a point where I won't be just always just broke. School getting ready to start, you know what I'm saying? So. I gotta get this stuff taken care of. I hate taking pills with anything other than water. I just do. I don't know. So I'm gonna sit here. Eat these. <laughs> That's why your girl gaining weight. Wait on my boy. Here we come. Oh, you need the money. I was like, why he coming back around? Can you just give him that for a tip? Okay. Yeah. All right. So anyway, yeah. I ain't really talking about nothing, y'all. Huh? No worries. I'm going to stay here and wait on you. I'm just going to park somewhere else over this way. You thought mommy was finna leave you. I ain't going to leave you. <laughs> Where you going? You finna leave? I'm just addicted to these flaming hot puffs and stuff, girl. Oh my god. You know what? You're wearing yellow pants, it's just like wearing white. They is not staying clean at all. <phone rings> Call the mess with Gil while she's at work. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. How is your day going? Oh, it's going. My God, it's one o'clock. I didn't even realize it was so late. Yeah. I'm just calling to check yeah. on you. Call to check in. Okay, how's your day going? It's not going, it's going good now, but it didn't go good. Why? Yeah, I was late. No, um, they didn't see Kendrick because um, 
They said he didn't have no insurance, so they turned them away. So now what? They said I got to fill out some type of form for him. Mm. The Medicaid application. Mm-hmm. Do it online? Mm-mm. The, the, uh, the, the lady there gave it to me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Why you answer the phone like that? I had to get, I was trying to get it connected to my Bluetooth. Oh, y'all short, sure y'all need me to come in? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if you want to. Anyway, try to go. And, uh, I'll call you back in a minute. I'll go see my phone. Okay. Okay, bye. I ain't gonna come in and work short. <laughs> I'm just ain't. So, but anyway, I ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> I ain't y'all see that on. I'll just see y'all when I turn this camera back on. You wanna go out to eat or something for your birthday? Or you good? I'll be alright. Huh? I'll be alright. You gonna be alright? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I know you alright and gonna be alright. What is it? Uh, but I'm saying, do you wanna? You don't wanna do nothing? You wanna go to Lazy Tag? Yeah, we can. I gotta figure out. Again. Is it for uh, but are they going today though? No. Uh, tomorrow? Uh, I don't think so. You have the same time tomorrow. Well, I work tomorrow. Uh, and I work 12 hours, so uh, you need to find out if I... They want to go out to eat too. But go to Corral. Go to Corral. So yeah, y'all going to the one in St. Charles. Mm -hmm. It ain't no fun if you go by yourself, is it? Be shooting it, right? Mm -hmm. To shoot your shirt up. So hey y'all, hey. I'm back on y'all swing girl. Look, listen. I just woke up from a nap. I still got the hospital thing on. <laughs> and girl, I've been knocked out since we got home. We got home by 11:45. It is now 5:30. Gail just called and said she's ready to be picked up from work. I was knocked out. I was knocked out. And then my job keep on calling, asking me, can I come in and work? Like, I've been working for them since Friday. Only reason I'm off today is I told you because I had the doctor's appointment with Kendrick. Like, no, I'm tired. I can't. Now I'm on my way to pick up Gil, y'all. I was knocked out. I can't believe it. I am so, so tired. I'm tired, y'all. Just don't know. We're working every day. Every day. I can't make it up. That's why I keep missing the upload here and there because I be so tired that I can't even edit. I get in, I get off at 7.30 at night because I work 12 hours now. And with that being said, when I pick up, a shift have to work 12 hours so i've been working 12 hours six days in a row that's a lot too much so anyway i was just reading my comments and uh on the video i just uploaded on friday and um i read a comment where someone said hey charnel i don't comment that often but i had to today something to that effect because she said my last couple of videos i haven't been looking the same or myself or something like that I don't know something like that and I'm just gonna say yeah it, it may be true I don't know what looking the same me so <laughs> I wish she had said more oh I look so sad that's what she said um you know what I have been sad but it's petty you know I don't even need to worry and trip off the stuff that I've been tripping off of I got so much going on I have so many emotions going on in my mind you know my heart is just battling with different things and I promise you all everything is fine it's just that I'm in this place right now um what I want to say in like my relationship that I'm battling with different things you know what I'm saying not nothing bad or anything like we're, we're okay it's just that I, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do what I should do for us this living situation uh it's just a lot of stuff and then of course y'all already know what i'm going through you know uh losing a job and you know having not having the finances that i had before so i feel like uh i feel like i was you know shooting off like a rocket and now you know i'm i'm at a standstill i feel stagnated but again 
I'm not really too much worried about that because I know I already told you all if I can't clam back up like I was I'll just wait until income tax time to get back on my feet so it's for his business wise but yeah I just have a lot of stuff going on and like I said I am tired I don't get enough sleep I promise you because once I get home we get home some nights I can't even go to sleep after being up all night and then getting up in the morning going to work uh, working these hours and then getting home again not being able to sleep so it's like I'm not getting enough rest I do know that for a fact I'm not getting enough rest so um, but you know, it's everyday life, it's life, and nothing is new under the sun, so I'm not gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over. But I really thank you for being concerned. I don't know, but I had I did notice while editing the video that I looked kind of sad. I did say that. Then in another video, I think I said that my energy was low. I think in the last two videos, I said that my energy was low and it was and it still is but i'm gonna be okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna get myself back you know um it's just too much you know i just gotta work hard right now but anyway girl i ain't talking about nothing it's just i just really wanted to address that comment because um i want y'all to know that i am okay and um i will be okay when I do finally get some footage to edit and upload, I can't even really do too much at her house. So sometimes if I don't upload nine times out of 10, I'm in her house because her internet is slow. I don't know what's wrong with her internet. So um, yeah, that's just, that's it. I know, and it's petty. That's what I was telling you. That's what I was saying earlier. It's, it's petty, you know, it ain't really too much to worry about but it's you know some stuff do kind of weigh heavy on you because that's my life you know youtube is my life you know and well i'm trying to build my youtube and when i can't do it you know it kind of makes me you know a little sad because i love uploading for you all that's what it is right now girl but i ain't talking about nothing i don't know what i'm talking about but yeah uh so but I feel rested now. But anyway, girl, I'm gonna call the lady. And let her know I'm on my way. I'm getting close. Hi, baby. Hey, love. I'm on my way. Um, I found the key. <sighs> girl, where was it at? It had fell up under the seat, Gil. I need my key ring back because I can't keep doing this. It's frustrating. I know. Yeah, you do. It's too hard to keep up with that single key. I said that as soon as you said you couldn't find it. Yeah. Like, you got to put it on the key ring. Yeah. Put it back, yeah. So, anyway, um... Okay. I'm on my way, girl. All right. All right, babe. All right, I'll tell you And it is what it is. And another thing that's been bothering me is my boys, the boys that are at home. As you all know, they all have graduated from high school and they still at home. They're not doing anything. And, um, you know, I, I keep talking to them, you know, letting them know that y'all have to do something with your life. Like KK, he was initially, he, was a, he wanted to be a fireman. He had changed his mind and said he wanted to go into the Navy. So, you know, we start going that route. I took him down to the recruiter and whatever. He took a test, he couldn't pass it to get in or whatever, so he's supposed to study. Then he changed his mind again and said he wanted to be the fireman. And so, um, I didn't know the steps to get to do that, you know. So finally, I seen the fireman one day, I was at work, you know, out in St. Charles, and I asked him what was the steps I needed in order for him to be a fireman. And he told me that he needed to go to EMT school first before he do anything, before he get into the fire academy or whatever. I tried to teach him how to drive, but my nerves bad, so I can't do it. And I've been trying to get people to do it. I asked his dad, I didn't ask Gail, I didn't ask a lot of people. And it's just hard sometimes for me to get to him, to get him down there to take us. You know, but before I got this job, I was working Monday through Friday. I couldn't get him there because I was always getting home after four o'clock, you know, when they closed. 
and uh, now I've been working all my off days so I just got to figure that out for him because I need them to get their life and just like I told Bubba today you know when I took him to the doctor and they you know refused to see him because he they have his insurance and I'm just like this is what I'm trying to tell you like son I'm not going to always be there and I know he have his flaws you know where it's a lot of things he can't do like you know but I just need some, I need to figure out what to do with him how to help him get his life you know what I'm saying so that's another thing that's weighing on me I got to try to work on that I got to try to work on getting them you know out the house and then Bubba always say well mama who's going to help you with you know princess and that is so true he helped me so much like I wouldn't be able to work if he didn't put her on the bus but I keep telling him don't worry about that you know I just want you to get your life and I'll just try to figure that out another time you know when that time come I'll figure it out because right now I just I just don't feel like he should have to worry about that but yeah that's another thing that's been weighing heavy on me y'all and I don't even really want to keep talking because I'm getting all emotional talking about that so just so much i got a lot going on so anyway i made it here to pick gail up can't let her know i'm outside y'all yeah i ain't really telling my none y'all i'll see y'all when i turn this camera back on let's rock let's rock